Right now, I work in Tokyo at a clinical research company. And what basically what I do is I monitor clinical research that are being conducted at different hospitals and clinics around Japan. And I could do, be doing something like going to doctors and then showing them a protocol or a clinical research that a pharmaceutical company is trying to conduct and then try to explain to them how this could be beneficial for some patients and if they might have patients who might want to try being on the clinical trial. And then if the clinical trial does get started, then I do periodic visits to see if these clinical trials are being conducted properly and I'm just checking. And then in the end, all the data that I collect gets submitted to the government and the government thinks it's safe or it's good for the people to use, then they would approve it. And then you would be able to use those drugs on the market or the doctors would be able to dispense them to you when you go to the hospital. When I was in college, I founded this organization called Ready And. And this is an organization I started because I wanted to see women in Japan being empowered and in leadership positions. And so when I was in college in the United States, I saw this difference between American women and Japanese women and the different cultures. So then I wanted to bring back this culture of empowerment and leadership to women in Japan. And in order to empower women in Japan, I needed to go back and um, influence high school students who still had a lot of options but wanted to explore. So I wanted to introduce them to role models who would be like Japanese college students, also women in different universities in different fields, and also women working in different careers in different fields so that high school girls could feel empowered and could explore like the different possibilities they have for their future.